But I'm really glad I got to see the nests of these turtles. Um, essentially, it's just a, a couple of sticks with some tape around it. Here all year round. Every day we get like 30 or 40 turtles in the harbor. So our job is to monitor the harbor, to look for sea turtles every morning. So with our blue shirts, we walk the harbor and check if the turtles are all healthy, if there's no lines on them or anything uh, uh, which could cause a problem. Regularly, we also do tagging sessions. So we get the turtle out of the water and then tag it. For... And then every morning we also walk the beaches where the females nest by by team of two or three volunteers. Um, so during June, July, August is mostly the nesting female turtle that we work on. We monitor the beach um, and we follow their tracks. And then if there's a track going back to the back of the beach, uh, we make sure that there's a nest here. So we dig for the top egg and we protect the area. Uh, so you can actually see all these protected nests on the beaches all over the island. And then August, September, October is mainly for the hatchling season. So when the hatchlings um, hatch, we make sure that they go straight to sea, um, that they don't get disorientated or disorientated. And we also have the light pollution survey. Uh, so we take measurements of all the light pollution from the, host, from the hotels or from the restaurants that are along the along the beach because they can disorientate the hatchlings when they hatch because the hatchlings are within their head to follow the brightest light uh, so usually it's the horizon but it can also be the restaurants and the hotels now so if, we, if it's too bright for them we're gonna need to sleep on the beach and cover and shade them to make sure that they go straight to sleep 